You wanted to see me Mr. Moneybags? Johnson. Your work has been severely slacking. I know, I've been super busy and haven't had time to finish the report. Well, in lieu of the situation I'm going to have to dock your pay. Sir please? You can't just do that. I'm going to talk to the labor union and have them go on strike with me. So take that. Labor union? What's that? YOLO. A labor union is an organization of workers who collectively seek out to improve wages, working conditions, benefits, and job security. Huh. That's horrible. Why does such a thing exist? Believe it or not, most of the job benefits that exist today didn't exist 200 years ago. Are the good old days. So let me finish. These benefits came about due to the hard work of many labor unions, who fought for their benefits. Fought? Da da don't kill me. I have a nice family at home. Well, not fought, the unions would have organized strikes that stopped production of goods or services. This way, they were able to get the attention of management and have their voices heard. This was a very peaceful way to get the benefits they wanted. Okay good. I don't actually have a family. Though I do have a pretty swanky home. Swanky? Stupid fat cats? What did you say Johnson? Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm watching you Johnson. But strikes huh? Why would that get my attention? It saves me money since I don't have to pay for you working. That's the thing, sir. You wouldn't have money without our work. And the unions realize this. A strike or a massive work stoppage completely stops production of a good or service. This in turn would lower your profits. Once your money stops flowing, you will listen to our demands. Less money eh? That certainly doesn't float my yacht. Boat, sir. The saying is doesn't float my boat. Not when you're as rich as me. Lol. Stupid fat cats. Johnson. Ahem. Anyway, with the threat of less money for you, you would be more considerate of our demands. Or I could fire you and hire workers who wouldn't join a union. Or I could hire children. They could work 24-7 and I would only have to pay them a penny. They wouldn't know the difference. They wouldn't know that they could defy me. That's very illegal sir. Says who? Your union? The nation's laws. The Fair Labor Standards Act in 1938. Which was won with the aid of unions, might I add. This made most child labor practices illegal. It also introduced a 40 hour work week. And a national minimum wage that is much higher than a penny. And you can't require those you hire to not join unions. That was also made unlawful in 1932 with the Norris, Laggard you act. Drat, foiled again. Darn unions. Fine what can I do to stop you from starting a strike? What kind of demands do unions usually fight for? Money. Get out. I mean, we don't just want money, as I've already said, labor unions collectively seek out to improve working conditions, benefits and job security. Working conditions, benefits, and job security eh? What kind of changes would we be talking about? Well, a great majority of rights have already been gained since the first formation of labor unions during the industrial revolution. Back then, the working world was a mess with terrible working conditions, such as 60 or more hours of work a week, low pay, and dangerous working conditions. Conditions were especially dangerous in factories and mines. But you could be fired at any time if you complained. I wish I could set you on fire. I meant they could abruptly dismiss you from work. I know Johnson, I know. So, you're telling me that these unions are the dark forces that are at work that would give employees the likes of the Norris LaGuardia Act, and the Fair Labor Standards Act? Indeedy sir. Though in these modern days, strikes don't occur as often as in the past, compared to the hundreds of strikes per year in the early 20th century, there are only 20 strikes a year in this current age. This is because most practices have become more humane and more benefits are openly given by the employers. 
So what the heck is the purpose of having a union nowadays? Well, these days a union will represent their worker in negotiations to get them an increased wage or benefits. While they can utilize strikes, unions use collective bargaining, which is the process of negotiating between businesses and their organized employer to establish wages or improve their work conditions. If a compromise cannot be made, a third party might be brought in to mediate the negotiations. I see. Well then, if you're done with your little lecture, get back to work. But, sir? No buts Johnson. Now get out. All right. Meanie head. He's a smart kid that one. Unlike you, sir. Shut up you big elf.